Bonneville Salt Flats, spiritual home of the world land speed record. I'm lucky enough to hold the world land speed record, 763 miles an hour, faster than the speed of sound. Speed is the simplest way of measuring performance, and it doesn't matter whether it's the fastest jet aeroplane in the world or the fastest human being over 100 metres. We're here in a Bentley Mulsanne, one of the most remarkable high-performance luxury cars. And we're about to push it to its limit and find out just how fast it'll go. and it feels like we're driving across silk. 125, 145. The rear wheels driving along with that huge V8 engine. We're in a golden age of the land speed record right now. The next generation of cars we're aiming for 1,000 miles an hour. That's right at the limit of modern technology. 175 miles an hour, doing three miles a minute. It will always be possible to go faster. It's going to be progressively more difficult to do it, but surely that's the whole point of pushing back the boundary of human endeavour. 185 miles an hour, the car's still accelerating. The future of outright speed is quite likely to undergo another paradigm shift that none of us can foresee. There will be new technologies in the future, new pioneers to make extraordinary statements. This car is approaching 190 miles an hour. You know, this is an amazing piece of technology. In terms of high-speed cruising, I've never driven a car like this on the salt before. It's quite remarkable. Speed will always be relevant for mankind, and as our lives become ever busier and ever more complex, and time becomes an ever more pressing factor, technology needs to start working for us. So instead of just doing more and more and having less and less time, that speed gives us more quality of life and more quality of time. Technology and speed are things that are great allies for us, providing we know how to use them.